Hi, mathematicians. Thanks so much for your hard work yesterday. I know that as we transition to variables on both sides that it can be challenging and it can be a little bit difficult. So thank you for your time and thanks for working on that. We're going to just go through these three problems today. I'm going to take some time. I'm going to slow it down a little bit and we're going to go through these and I'm going to give you some more time to work um, on your practice. We're going to continue to reiterate the same strategies that we've been talking about. Now that first equation we're looking at has fractions and I'm going to show you a little trick. Some of you have, and I have been working on this already just kind of in our one on one Google meets and so on or like small groups. But one thing that we can do for those of you who look at it and you're like, ah, I don't like fractions. Um, I'm going to show you a trick. If you take what the denominator is and you multiply every single term by that denominator, it will clear the fraction and it will probably calm like the stress level down a little bit. So I'm gonna multiply each of these by four and my pen is not working incredibly well. So I'm just gonna have to use my finger because that's, you just kind of go with it. So I'm gonna multiply each of these by four. All right, and when I do that, I'm gonna end up with 3K minus 20 equals K minus four because my denominators are canceled out. So three fourths times four is three. Now what I have is the ability to now work with only integers, which helps things out for some of us. When I look at this, both sides are simplified. I don't have to combine any like terms or distribute. So now I decide what side I want my variables on. This does not matter, okay? If you want them on the left, put them on the left. If you want them on the right, put them on the right. We should all end up with the same answer either way. I'm gonna put them on the left. So I need to get rid of K on the right. So I'm gonna subtract K from both sides. So I end up with 2K minus 20 is equal to negative four. And I'm gonna undo now that minus 20, because I really wanna work on getting this K by itself. So I'm gonna undo minus 20 by adding 20 to both sides. So 2K is equal to 16. And I'm gonna undo the multiplication two times K, I'm gonna undo that by dividing by two. So that K is equal to eight. K is equal to eight. Now notice how it says to check. I need you to check your work. And so what we're gonna write down as our check is we're gonna replace K with eight. So is three fourths times eight minus five, the same as one fourth of eight minus one. And what you do is you can type each side of these in your calculator. So you type in three fourths times eight minus five, and you'll get an answer. And then I want you to type in one fourth times eight minus one and get an answer. If those two are the same, then you have the correct answer. This is really important when you're submitting a test or your homework or you're doing any work. It's really important that you do that work. Okay, it's a great way to check out and see if, how you're doing. Make sure you include your checks in your homework tonight. Let's take a look at this next one. Now, if you're looking at it, you're like, oh my gosh, there's parentheses, we got variables on both sides. There's a lot of parts to this one, but let's break it down to what we really know, okay? So let's start by breaking it down and just looking at the, I went to cross that off, that didn't go so well. Let's just look at the left side first, okay? Let's simplify that. Let's use our skills that we learned in unit two to, or in unit one to simplify this. So we're gonna start by distributing. So six times three A is 18 A plus six times one is six minus 30. First thing I did was distribute. 
The next thing I'm going to do is combine like terms. 6 minus 30. So I have 18a minus 24. Now that side is simplified as I can get it. Now I'm going to focus on the right side of the equal sign. Again, using the scales we learned in unit 1 and unit 2, we're going to take 3 times 2a is 6a. 3 times 4 is 12. So 18a minus 24 equals 6a minus 12. Now I have each side simplified. Now we want to focus on how do we get the variables to one side. And again, the side that you decide you want to put them on works for me. I'm going to put them on the left. For me, it's just kind of, it makes sense. I'm used to it, so that's why I do it. You could totally put them on the right. It doesn't matter. So 6a minus 6a is 0. Then I'm left with negative 12 on the right. On the left, I have 6 minus, or 18 minus 6, which is 12a minus 24. I'm going to undo minus 24 because, again, my goal is to get that a by itself. I'm going to add 12 to both sides. You know what? I need to add 24 because I want to undo minus 24. So I'm going to add 24 to both sides. 12a equals 12. And I'm going to undo multiplication by division. So a equals 1. Right. Now, again, the check is really important. So I'm going to write down what I need to check. Is 6 times the quantity 3 times 1 plus 1 minus 30 the same as 3 times 2 times 1 minus 4? And what you want to do is type in what's on the left side in your calculator. What do you get for an answer? Type your right side in. What do you want for an answer? Okay, making sure you're working through that. If they're both the same, we know that we're good. Now, if you've been kind of tuning me out a little bit, I need you to hear this, okay? Because this is new. You haven't seen this yet. We are going to do, we're going to pull back what you talked about in seventh grade about cross products and apply it here. We are going to multiply the diagonals and set them equal to each other. So we're going to say that 2 times the quantity x minus 3 is the same as 4 times x. That's how we're going to set up our equation. From here, we're going to just work like we're used to. We're going to simplify. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is 6 equals 4x. I want variables on the same side, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. Negative 6 equals 2x. I'm going to undo my multiplication by dividing by 2. So x equals negative 3. Then I want to check it. Is negative 3 minus 3 divided by 4 the same as negative 3 divided by 2? And in this case, negative 6 fourths is the same as negative 3 halves. So now you're going to get some more time to work on the rest of page 4-1. Um, checking your work, showing your steps, reach out and ask questions if you're not sure. That's why I'm here. Even though we're remote, please let me know what I can do to help you out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.